This is the Galaxy Report for, what is it, May 13th, 2006. This is the way the world ends. Welcome to the Galaxy Report. I'm Free Gasaka. This week I am joined by Flipside. Flip, how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing good. You gonna stick with us for the whole episode this week? I will be here the whole time. All right. All night long. And of course we have Josh with us. Josh, how you doing? Good. Awesome. Everyone's volume seems to be the same level, so let's uh, try to keep this up for the whole episode. Yeah, sorry for last week. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll let you get away with that one time. If it happens again, you're off off the show. <laughs> we have people waiting to back you up. Just want to let you know that. All right, this week we're going to go over the hot fix, number 28.3. We're going to get into the SWG and E3. Uh, I think that didn't turn out the way we all expected. Rogue Five's Comlink. We're going to go over the keyboard and UI issues that seem to uh, be a big thing midweek. Uh, we're going to try to give some more stuff away, and we're going to do Q&A. We're going to save up for phone calls towards the end. Uh, if you have anything, just kind of let Dukas know. He's going to line everything up, and towards the end of the show, that's when we'll get the calls in. Um, you can ask questions at any time. He'll send those through to me, and if it's involving what we're talking about and I happen to see it at the time, we'll go ahead and answer the question then. And I think, uh, Josh, you wanted to do a, what, kind of what we've been doing this week in game, haven't we? Because you had some issues that you wanted to bring up. Huh? Didn't we Which talked ones? about it earlier? We talked for like in three game? hours earlier. <laughs> Don't you remember? Talk about redheads again? Which one? <laughs> okay, I guess we won't do that. You wanted to complain about your customer service experience? Oh, I said great. I could do a thing like, hey, guess what we've been doing this week? Oh, okay. Uh, like okay, we'll yeah, so we'll throw that in there. Why don't we okay. start, why don't we start with that? What you've okay. been doing this weekend game? I've been pissed all week for like everything. Nothing's gone right this week. First of all, customer service. I respected my trader to an R class of trader. Friggin' lost all his skills, went to level one, lost everything completely. I contact customer service, I explain everything to them. And they tell me, you know, we're sorry that you're having trouble with people camping the Death Watch bunker right now. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> I read another ticket. They tell me about the legacy quest. I read another one. They tell me the art quest is fixed on Kashik. And then after my like sixth or seventh ticket, I finally got hooked up. But friggin', I don't know what these people get paid for. They could pay me to do it for five bucks an hour. Don't you have Second connections? All, like after the first one, couldn't you be like, hey, you know what? What the hell? I know. I put I posted a screenshot for Bruce Economy, the supervisor, and he hasn't responded to my thread yet. So that in the friggin'. Cybernetic legs. I am killing myself 40 times a day for two weeks. <laughs> and I'm losing. If anybody knows a surefire way to get them, you know, send me money. I mean, sorry, send me the solution, mail, PM, in-game, whatever. I'll give you money. You know, I'm you with like, the cybernetic legs is kind of like Gyron trying to get the Black Sun helmet. Oh, I know it's evil. <laughs> I'm just so fed up. I've killed myself so many times. My PvP rating's like 700 now. The newbies star 1200. They're like higher than me. They've been playing the game for an hour. I'm ready to cry. But. That's great. Well, you know, we were trying to get people in our guild to get really low PvP ratings so that way when they fought in a PvP war against somebody that had a really high one, it'd screw up with their uh, rating. <laughs> That's just lame. I do that. So, Flip, what you been doing this weekend game? Uh, I've been actually doing a couple of the. Um, the new quests, because I haven't really been able to play a whole lot. I I complain a whole lot about the Ackley Armor Quest. Just finished that. I finished a couple of the missions on, or quests from Kashik that I didn't get to complete, like the, um, oh, the Imperial Red, uh, I'm not, I can't remember what the name of it is. Real Guard? Uh, yeah, I got that. The, the hologram for that. So I was just doing some quests I didn't do and some of the new ones. Cool. You guys uh, seem to have got a lot more playtime in than I did. I was able to kill a few Night Sisters and loot a few pieces of uh, armor that I turned around and sold really cheap on the bazaar and most icely for newbies. But um, 
Yeah, I haven't had much time to log in this week. I think the first time I was actually able to get in game was Wednesday or Thursday. So, did we have a reset this this morning? I don't know. So Doesn't it normally because, reset on Saturdays? Well, it does no. because I thought it did. It's just Tuesday, yeah, Thursday. Uh, get them more crashed, I think. Okay, because I was expecting to reset because usually every Saturday it does, and I went to a certain uh, spawn. That it's that the Night Sister. Uh, that you get a, a badge for. She wasn't there, obviously, when I went to go log in early in the morning when they came back. Servers supposedly were going to come back up. But. Huh. All right. Well, let's get on to our show notes, the actual meat of the show. You have. Uh, we'll start off with the hotfix, published 28.3. Uh, starts off with the avatar. Players should no longer find their characters stuck in the bind pose, a.k.a. the da Vinci pose. Uh, that's good. I Does that... Do people still get that when they log off sitting down? Or has that been fixed too? Like anywhere? Well, you can't sit down. <laughs> you can't sit down? Can't. You just, yeah, the canteen, they just fixed that in the same hotfix that you could sit down. Okay. But I've seen people do that on cash and stuff. Well, I used to do it when I was sitting in a chair. I'd log back in. If I logged out sitting down, like just on the ground, I logged back in, I was in the Da Vinci pose. I never had that problem, but when you and me and Gyron at the Avatar, I saw Gyron in it the whole time. Really? Yeah, He's running but, around to me, so. Yeah. All right. Well, you mentioned the characters able to sit in cantinas and other structures and chairs. Loot. The village of Aurelia Force Mine Crystal will no longer be no trade for those who have already converted the crystal. Do yep, you, and that works. I, I have four of them, and I gave them to my other players. So <laughs> They were all on my crafter. <laughs> <laughs> bounty Hunter. If a bounty hunter takes a bounty pl- bounty player bounty mission and logs out before completing the mission and the player target is killed by another bounty hunter or logs out... The quest journal entry will be correctly updated. Then uh, entertainers, it looks like they decided to uh, fix up some of the bugs that kind of hit the entertainers with uh, Publish 28, which is a good thing. That's most of the stuff that's been put in the bug wiki lately was uh, entertainer stuff at first. But cloning sickness, they can set a cover charge. If, if they have a cover charge set, people have to pay a certain price for cloning sickness. That's always a good thing. But hey, you know, on the cloning sickness, I like the droid. It speaks to you. You like that? Yeah. I I just thought it was neat. I didn't I didn't realize that it was gonna happen. I don't die that often because I'm really uber. I've heard that a million times. I'm just kidding. No, I just thought it was weird when the robot says that you're fine now. Oh man, I've heard that too many times now. <laughs> I must have spent 300 k on so far. Why? <laughs> if you want to get the legs, it'd be easier to die if you don't cure your cloning sickness. I know, but after about a week of doing it, like last week's show, up to then I had not done it at all. But I thought maybe that's the problem. Maybe I have to like heal before I can get them. So then I did it every time after that, 40 times a day. Oh, man. <laughs> you can imagine how much that adds up to. Uh, the cover charge ability should work correctly. Inspiration buffs given an inspiration buff to another entertainer will allow them to apply hollow emotes to their customers. The hollow... Hollow emotes will have 50 charges. The amount of experience points gained by performing flourishes has been drastically or dramatically increased. Entertainers once again can once again choose lo- choose the level of various special effects by typing the effect command followed by one, two, or three. And the entertainer profession title should now be displayed properly. Officers, the tactics line of special abilities for officers should now buff all members in the officers group. Politician. Aren't we all politicians anymore? Entertainers who have declared the character's official residence at a house in a player city will receive all politician skills next time they log in. So they're really taking care of entertainers. Well, they broke a lot, so <laughs> you might as well fix them up. And Trader. Additional artisan assembly and general experimentation points have been added for domestic structures, munition traders. By phase two, all traders should have 100 general experimentation points. That's all good. Awesome. We're happy, aren't we? There was a second hotfix, you know. Or it hasn't gone live yet. It's on Test Center. Uh, what's in that one? Uh, it's two things. It was Garba posted it, so I didn't pop in the dev tracker. But they're adding an option for auto-decline duels. So if you don't get dual spammed or anything, that stops the bounty hunter problem where people just start slash dueling the person they think is the bounty hunter after them. <laughs> nice. And there's a respect fix. That's cool. Is, How many respect fixes are they going to have? <laughs> A lot. More than we have respect kits and uses. We want more charges. <laughs> I okay. want more charges. Well, here, let, let's get into the E3 vid. We were getting a lot of questions coming in, like, what do we think of the E3 vid? Do we think that given uh, 
the devs have given ad- adequate communication this week with regard to the E3 battle arrest us. You know, I think this was a blown opportunity by, uh, you know, I don't know if it was the devs, uh, marketing department, what it was, but here it was. They had our attention. They're, they're, you know, E3. We have something coming for E3. We have something coming for E3. We're excited to show this thing at E3. And then it's shown behind closed doors. Well, from what I understand, it was shown behind closed doors. You had to have a press pass to get in. And somehow one of the guys got some video of it, released a little bit, which, you know, it was cool to see. It's cool to see the TIE fighters swooping around in the background, flying after things. It was cool to see stuff coming out of the sky, you know, crashing. But it was just a small little clip, and it's hard to get, it's hard to get a good feel on how this is going to be from this small little clip. Yeah. But they really made it seem like they were going to let us know what was going on. So Thursday night, you know, it's getting to the point where we're not hearing anything, not hearing anything. I thought eventually, you know, they're they're going to release a video, kind of explain everything that's going on to us. So I I emailed Rogue Five, and I have to admit. I had ulterior motives on this. I, I wanted to find out if he had a chance to get his hands on the Wii remote. That's what I was really interested in, but I had to think of a Star Wars question to ask along with it. So I, I'd asked about if, you know, we were going to get this video. And he told me that they couldn't talk about anything. Hopefully they'd be able to talk more about it next week. And it just, it really seems like a lost opportunity. Everybody was geared up towards it. Everybody seemed to be looking forward to it. And nothing happened, you know. I don't know who decided not to release this stuff to the actual paying customers. Julio. Yeah. But it, it, it may have been. I don't know because the devs seem geared up to show us what is going to happen and nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. What about, what about you guys? What do you think on this one? I don't mind waiting a little bit longer as long as it's really good. Well, I don't Hopefully. mind waiting either, but I don't understand why. <laughs> Don't you feel like they geared us up towards this, and then we get to E3 and nothing? I mean, this, this is E3. It's the big event. Show us what's going on. <laughs> I was more disappointed. We talked about this earlier, but I was more disappointed in the fact we didn't get a booth babe for Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> well, did I mean, you say did, did you say R5 was the booth babe? Yeah, R5 was. I mean, no offense, Grant. I know you're listening, but I'm sure there are better people who look good in bikinis than you. <laughs> Why couldn't they hire this girl in like a Princess Leia outfit and call that Star Wars y? Either that or they they could have like had a Twilight there. You know, blue Twilight. Oh, and, and like low rider pants. <laughs> what about you, Flip? What are your thoughts on uh the whole video that came out? Or the lack of well, communication reg- re- around the video? Well, with them not saying anything, everybody was hoping it might be a Friday feature or something at the end of the day Friday they might say something about it and nothing was said about it. And I, I was hoping, same as you guys, I was hoping for information. Yep. Uh, my thoughts on, uh, real quick, my thoughts on, on that little video clip, I like that in everything. I, I hope the edit turns out well. I hope it doesn't turn really quick just to move on its enemies, because then that just doesn't seem like an edit, you know? You know, I want to see that. the edit one-shotting people. I want to see oh, it, like, yeah. like, have a range of, like, 75 meters. I want people to have to turn and run when that AT-AT comes into the town. I don't want them sitting there battling with the AT-AT. I want one-shot kills from the AT-AT on people. And I, I swear, if I see a Jedi with his double lightsaber taking one out, you know, hitting it at its feet, that's just something that shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but uh, another thing, though, real quick, not to interrupt you, um, would it, do you guys think that would be, like, an instance or something? No. I mean, that... Well, how are they going to keep – I mean, okay, so half the uh, city gets blown up from the ad at blowing up, okay? So how do you do that? Do you, Does the building – the whole city get rebuilt whenever somebody wants to do that mission? Well, here, here's what I'm here, – no, what it's going to be is like the entire – from what I understand, from what I've just heard from people talking about it, is that it's an event that's going to have to be unlocked by the entire server. So that means that there's going to be things that – the entire server is going to have to do. It's kind of like I'm. I'm going to explain it because like my buddy plays Warcraft, so he tells me everything about the game. There, there was an event where they they put in this instance, and to unlock it, the entire server had to do certain things. So they had to collect like a certain amount of this item and turn it into like the, this NPC. They had to collect a certain amount of this and turn it into another NPC. And basically, what that did is, after a while of doing that, you, the server unlocked this event. Well, like there, well there, there's what there's was an instance, 
Really? So you're saying people that are at work or people that are actually doing things are going to get screwed out of this if they're not at playing at the time? Well, this, from the sounds of it, it's going to be a huge event that's not going to take place. It's not going to be like a 10-minute event where you're going to go in, the ADAT's going to come in, it's going to blow up. And I don't even know if the ADAT blowing up is what blows up the entire city. I think it has more to do, I think there's like supposedly like a weapon that's being tested. Or something, so I'm, I don't know, maybe there's something else involved, because I would hate for an ad ad exploding to take out an entire city like that. I well, be- I... What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, no, I was just going to say real quick, um, I hope they give like some sort of announcement, like, your server has got everything it needs, this time and date, we will go under a huge event, so be there. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure they will, and from the sounds of it, it's going to be like hours long, so people are, you may not be there for the very end when it, it explodes and gets taken out, but you can be, uh, I believe you can be part of this, it's going to be big enough to where maybe if you're gone for an entire weekend, you're going to miss it, but if you're, you're around at some point, you should be able to get involved in it. I think it might work like the phase three at the village, where the Sith attack. Like it might cycle through once a day. And you keep going to it. Well, didn't didn't when you're watching that video, didn't you hear that guy at the end saying this is a this is part a, a different phase or something? You know, you know the. Yeah, they I, said I something I, about being a couple parts. Like I, I believe one part will be the unlocking of the event, and then there there will be more to it. It seems like somebody says that there are three parts to the event. It'll be like Cries of Alderaan then. Well, from what I from what I understand, it's like once it blows up the city, the city's blown up. The city's gone. And I are there g- any major quests or anything like that from that city? There's su- there's supposed to be NPCs in the city giving quests. It, it, you will be able to go back there and do things. And I think it's supposed to be. They talked about possibly being able to go up and uh, be on like the second story of buildings, shooting down at people. So it may turn it into a PvP battlefield. Oh, that would be neat. Well, there you go. I mean, it, from the little clip, it looks, there's a lot of potential. I can't judge it by that clip, because that clip is like a short little, you know, couple minutes in a larger event. So until I get more information, I can't really judge it. It looks like an opportunity. I just think, I think SOE really blew an opportunity to get, get people, you know, excited about it. I mean, imagine if they had come out and they'd be like, okay, this is what we're doing. This is what we have. Guess what? In two weeks, this is going to be on Test Center. You guys can check it out. The, yeah. Who could complain at that? I'm sure there's a few people, but <laughs> it would get me excited to play. Well, yeah, and I just hope I, I don't get screwed out at being a part of the uh, blowing up Arrestus or whatever. You know, I hope they give some sort of notification uh, per uh, server. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be like, oh, guess what? This happened. Guess what? In 20 minutes, kaboom. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. But I know Cactus, uh, that, he loves that city. Uh, he, he says his, uh, he was born, you know, when he created his character, he got to choose that place. And a lot, I know a lot of noobs would be like, what? You, you created your character there. You know, I was, you know, you can only pick, uh, most Eisley, isn't that right now? You can yeah. only pick most Eisley? Yeah. That's where it's happening. I'd be kind of sad if Tyrena got blown a, blown to smithereens, but you know what? I'd get over it. For an event like this, I mean, it'd, it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. But I don't know. You guys have any more <laughs> thoughts on this one? Uh, No, I hope they release the actual video to us, you know, in good quality format. Yes. Yeah, you know, the, the whole thing, not just that yeah. little clip. Yeah, that, that's what I totally expected for a Friday feature, and you, you kind of mentioned that. I mean, it would have been the perfect opportunity for a Friday feature. They could have had it written up beforehand. You release it with a video of the event, the demo that they're showing, you know, just record a demo and then show us what happens. I'd like to know what, what went wrong. What, what, what was it that they, uh, was the reason why they took it off? I mean, they had a whole bunch of time to set up for E3, this spectacular event, you know? Well, it, so some people say that the demo crashed. Um, I heard like it was like a behind the scenes, like a press pass thing. And, you know, companies do that for games. You know, some of the stuff is like behind closed doors. Only certain people can get in and test this stuff. Or you have to be there invite only. Oh, I'm betting somebody in SOE was getting sued and they had to go to court. That was very random. <laughs> that random thought of the day. There you go. All right, have we beaten the subject to death? 
Uh, you okay there? Cut out. No, my voice just went out. Oh. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> I heard you hacking, you hacking away in the background. Yeah, no, I took my mic off. I didn't think you heard it. No, 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 we heard it. Thanks a lot. You ruined Sorry. the show. <laughs> you can edit it out. No, no, no editing. That's why I do the show live. I don't have time to edit anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? If anybody wants to ask any more questions about the E3 thing, do that towards the end when we do some Q&A. Give us your thoughts. Call in. We're going to move on now to the whole keyboard and UI issues. That kind of became the big thing midweek. I, I don't know. Maybe people are just cranky that... uh <laughs> That the video hadn't come out at that time, but man, it seems like a lot of overreaction over a poll. <laughs> Josh, you, you had some issues with this, didn't you? Yeah, I have no idea what people's big friggin' problem is. I mean, it's just some guy sitting at Sony, he's gonna like click the on button on a couple of features, and there was a thread that got started on the forums where people were complaining they shouldn't be wasting time setting up support for a keyboard and they should be fixing the UI. Well, here's There's the thing. a really big difference. Well, here's the thing. They're not even, I mean, it sounds, from the sounds of it, the, the all the buttons are mappable. So that's yeah. not the problem. All they're going to do is they're going to stream a little bit of information to an LCD screen. So basically, all they have to, now, I'm not a programmer. I'll play one on this podcast for a couple seconds. But I'm sure even I could probably figure this out just a week of playing around, and I have, like, no programming skills besides, like, editing up some PHP. But that's already written for me. But you have a little LCD screen on this keyboard, and basically it's going to show some stats. So it's probably going to—you could probably have it show like your health, your action, maybe your your target's health and action. Very limited. I mean, there, it's not going to stream like it's not going to be like the the Sega VMU thing where you have like your little Sonic the Hedgehog game where you're like training your little cow or chaos or whatever the heck that little thing was in Sonic. But it's it's just some numbers that are going to stream to this LCD. And the good thing about it is, you do that, you your put your your game's website is put onto the Logitech website, so it's like a cross promotion thing for very minimal work. So people who buy this keyboard are going to get a thing saying, "Oh, it works with Star Wars Galaxies." You'll get this information shown on your LCD screen. It's just a marketing thing, and I'm sure it, there can't be a lot to make it show very like numbers. That's all it's going to show. It's going to show numbers. <laughs> It's not going to set them back on doing whatever they're doing. It's not like they're going to invest a huge amount of time to adding a few programmable buttons. And people were saying it's like giving some players an unfair advantage. It's no different than using a joystick in space. And it's you can get my my buddy got this uh this cool uh it's kind of like a keyboard joystick for a while. I forgot the name of it. He told me I should get one for SWG. And you can map all the buttons, and you can do it outside of the um, – like, you could do it outside of Galaxies. It comes with its own buttons mapping software. So I don't oh, even I think know. mapping buttons is an issue. I think it's just the LCD on uh, with this Logitech keyboard. But basically, this thing is cool. Your hand kind of – like, kind of fits in your hand. It's almost kind of like a cross between a mouse and a keyboard in very limited space. And, like, with your thumb, you can move back and forth, like, front or back. And, uh, I don't know, there's like, there's a little thing you can use to look around and like all your buttons are mappable. And he uses it in WoW and says it's wonderful. And I, I, I thought it'd be really great, you know, it'd be really easy to run backwards while you're aiming, hitting a button and like doing your specials and everything. And, well, you know, hoping they fire. But, <laughs> <laughs> but really, I, I don't, I don't understand what the, the big, all the chaos is over, and it's a poll question. Seriously, it's a friggin' poll question. I, I bet none of the developers were involved in the poll question. I'm sure it didn't take any time away where it's like, hey, Jimmy, you working on an expertise system? Why don't you go ahead and stop that and go uh, spend a couple hours per- putting this poll question on the forums? It was like, I don't know, one of the forum mods took like five minutes to put this up to see if people would be interested in it. It's this week's scandal. It's a simple friggin' question. It's like the people who got bent out of shape when they asked, what do you like better, like Kansas City barbecue or Texas barbecue? <laughs> like they had nothing better to say. Well, like, get over your, if you're that bent out of shape over something like that, get over yourself. I mean, it's a stupid, it's, it's a silly little question for fun. Oh, what was last week's scandal? We had one too. It was the station pass. Oh, Just no, that was, for- that was this week too. It was people who couldn't read completely, who are saying that because, like, the PlayStation 3 mentioned that they were going to use the launch pad as part oh, yeah. of... Oh, you're talking about the station pass, the upgrade yeah, price the upgrade in SWG. Money. Oh, oh yeah. they were worried that the price of the game was going to go up, and that 
and it's not, it's the station. Yeah, I didn't get that. It was like, it says you're upgraded from $21 to 24 and people don't register. They're only paying 14 well, Josh, the first we, line. We had talked about it. We were going to start this show off like completely pissed off, acting, <laughs> acting like, can you believe they're raising the price? And just carried out through the whole show. <laughs> and then when we got to the end, we are going to be like, no, we're just messing with you. We knew they weren't going to do it all along. <laughs> Corrupt the generation. Yeah. I, and, you know, the UI issues, I understand people want a second toolbar back. I miss it too, but yeah, and it'd be nice. It's it didn't happen before though. I can live with one right now. I mean, I remember the old UI. It always reset after like the server went down or something. It was buggy as hell. Yeah, and until they can fix it, I don't mind waiting as long as they get it right. And you know what? They really okay. Forget about the second toolbar. Basically, your your waypoint monitor that just kind of creeps up, which I just yeah. moved back into place when it when it creeps up away from yeah. me, and it's a little bit of an inconvenience, and if we could resize the map and some of the other things, what is so bad about the UI? That's that's what I want to know. I'm going to start a post on our forums, and I want to know what is... Take away those two things, resizing... <laughs> and, it's all fixable if you do it on your end, you know? Well, yeah. and you know what? Really, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to worry about the waypoint monitor. What the hell is up with the POI monitor? That when you get closer to it, it gets further away. Well, I, I told you I had that where I flew out someplace, and when I got there, my my monitor didn't adjust. So, like, I was, like, a 1,000 meters away, but really it's, it, it said I was 8,000 meters away. And Yeah, it's done that when I've died. It's freaked up. That when you die and you clone, if you open your inventory when you're dead, it kind of messes up your inventory to your relock. It does. A little space on the uh, right-hand side. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Why can you it says loot all? Why do you have to loot all your stuff? Yeah, you want another medical uh, console. <laughs> now I'm getting pissed with the UI, too. <laughs> <laughs> Great, you were on our side. I don't, yeah, it needs improvement, but it's not like this god-awful thing. It's, I don't know, it's not like you're trying to play the game and they don't give you any view of anything on there. It's like, okay, here, here's a blank screen. Go figure something out. Hey, is the uh, radar not resizable anymore? No, no, it's not. Oh, and I haven't even tried that. So and it I guess needs I to be. Know. And I can I understand, like, the health health uh, in action bars, make, being able to resize those, especially for people who use a higher resolution. You know, those that can get pretty tiny. You know what I'd like them to add that WoW has? Sorry, I mentioned that. I would, I'd like it if they had real time posted in there. Do, doesn't WoW do that? What's that? What time What time it is? You can real do that. Time? You can do that. You don't set an alert. Yeah, you can set an alert. You, I mean, you can, you can time like stamp. You just have to turn on time oh, stamp in your options. Oh, I Right, I, I do time stamp. I'm talking about, like, it would say what, you know, if it's like, oh, where has the clock? Yeah, AM, the PM. Clock. Yeah. Okay. I'd like, I like to see something like that. I know it's something stupid, but I thought that was kind of cool, and uh, wow, so. Let's wait till we get our second toolbar back before we ask for a clock. The radar. Yeah. I don't have a problem with the radar being as small as it is. The only time I ever used that damn thing was when I was grinding pickets when I was doing my Jedi. <laughs> just so when I saw, like, a blip come, I could drop a house on myself. Like, literally, I'd drop a house on myself. You didn't go inside, you wouldn't get a TEF. I exploded. House. I wasn't exploding, I was just making my little house. House pack up made it so much easier, too. Oh, man. Freaking bounty hunters. I know, I'm sure there's some people who are going to hate us over this. Oh, I'm evil. I used to pack up my house with the bounty hunters in them. That got me in trouble. Now someone wants to know, why can't they just support the hardware they already have by making the, the UI moddable instead of Talking about supporting a third-party product. Oh, you know what? It's like we said. It, it's not really. It's one. It's a, it's it's marketing. You're gonna get this out to more people. So you always have to look at that. And if it's very minimal work to support this item, and really the question, the poll question was supporting the LCD screen. That was the question. Would you want us to support the LCD screen? You know that there's very li- very minor. Just a little bit of information that has to go to that. I don't think it's going to be much work. And, yeah, you know what? I'd like to see them improve on what they have, but it would be a, a quick little fix that would be great for marketing. That's my thought. Yep. Word. Word your father. Oh, yeah. Who's oh, Jeezy? G-Dog. I don't know. Dog. Well, we're, we're getting up to the Q&A session, so. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, uh, uh I was going to mention, I, I do have a surprise. How much longer do we have? 
Yeah, we have like a half hour, so feel, go ahead. You talk okay, about that uh, while I do something else. All right. Well, I got a um, surprise here. Uh, for people who have joined the TGR Guild, the uh, Galaxy Report Guild on Bloodfin, Bloodfin only, um, I don't have uh, major characters in other servers, so I can't do that there. But I'm helping out Farrick, uh having people join, and people who have already joined, I'll reimburse you. But this is um, going to be something that I'm going to start doing. Gonna, uh, if anybody joins the guild or has already, I'm going to uh, supply you with five crates of swoop, two crate of vehicle color kit, 150k, a generic small house, and ten miscellaneous furniture pieces. Now, some of the items I give you, you know, like the two crate vehicle color kits or the furniture pieces, I know that kind of sounds random, but you can either sell them, get, make a little bit more money. You know, it's cheap, but still, it'll give you a way to start your game, and you might have something to do as soon as you start. Uh, people have already joined. I'll reimburse you. Uh, Farrick will have that stuff on hand. Um, within you the just next have to few catch days. me when I log in. Right. He'll have that stuff in the next few days, so just give him a little uh, email in game. But I know it's just Bloodfin, but that's where he has his guild. And that's my little surprise there. Sweet. I'll join. <laughs> You're down now. <laughs> You've had a character, but you refuse to join us. You didn't ask me. I was with you for three hours on Avatar. You never said anything. Well, we were on the Avatar. Yeah. Could offer. You hurt my feelings. Hey, does anybody remember the name of the pe- names of the people who won last week? Because I don't want to give away stuff to the same people week after week. There was the Dutch land friggin' what is his name? Holland. The Holland dude. What am I talking about? I have no clue. Something about shipping last week. I don't know. I, I said Dutchland. I'm sorry. Last week, people like uh, Dutch people. Apparently what? from Holland. Oh, Farrick, uh, um Cactus has a question. I think is kind of important. Um, he's wondering who else can join the TGR or yeah TGR Guild because if you're not on all the time, if anybody else is in the guild, they can recruit others. Well, someone can. Um, of course, he's out of town right now. It's kind of like we got it started, and then he left, and we've kind of been, you know, I, I've been trying to play. It's been uh, rather you know, spotty, I have my but. all, you know, I have my all Avron, you know, if you want to have him join, I can, if you want to make me a recruiter or something. We can do that. I mean, if some, if somebody wants to, you know, who's on a lot, who's playing on Bloodfin, wants to be the recruiter, we can set that up. That's no problem. Okay. But we'll, we'll talk about this later, you know. Yep, yep. Don't don't want to limit it too much to uh Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Solon made me this nice randomizer randomizer to uh give away stuff. So I'm going to uh select a name, give away another t shirt, and uh if I picked you last week, yeah, um Don't be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I have your emails. Two of the people from last week have already claimed their stuff. I'm gonna get that shipped out on Monday. And uh there's still one person who has not claimed, so make sure you listen to last week's and, you know, find out if that was you. But this week, you should, let's give something away. What do you say? Let's give away a shirt. Okay, let's see if this thing works. We need a drum roll. Here we go. Oh, that was pitiful. Oh, I'm trying to do my Clark uh, Griswold one. Corey Hyde. Corey Hyde is uh, this week's winner. And we the only see. hide in Star Wars Galaxies. What's that? The only hide in Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> I can't get that stuff. I went to Smith. There's none. Friggin' milk and eggs. Hey, you're killing the wrong things. What All right, let's get them? let's get some Q and A. So if Dukas wants to line up some um, some call-ins, this would be a perfect time. And if anybody wants to ask any questions, you're kind of in the. In the chat room there, Flip, aren't you? If you want to pull any questions. Yes, I am. Uh, yep, I am in there. I okay. Will, I'll do my best. I think Dukas must have fallen asleep or he's... he's there he is. Well, uh, Farrick, do you think uh, eggs and milk drop too much? Have you not killed enough people or what? I don't know. I've, I've killed them. I've, I've seen it, but I've also seen hide. And... Well, you know, I think it kind of... Just those two items there, I think, kind of screw up a lot of things. Like... Like, things on the Avatar don't drop normally as they used to, or armor or uh, components don't drop as much. But not that they never really did, but I think milk and eggs drop a little too much. Like, uh, I love Shakar. Maybe they're trying to make up for the times that we couldn't get milk and eggs. <laughs> That's always a possibility. 
Yeah, but yeah. I think it, it, it it's in the way of other items that really should be dropping. <sighs> Stupid milk and eggs. I have a Tuesday tip. Which Tuesday tip? Sunday. Uh, I never knew about this in three years in Star Wars Galaxies, but if you type slash no, you can bring up a notepad in Star Wars Galaxies where you can type whatever and it'll stay there. Oh, a notepad? That, that thing is awesome. I use it all the time. I just found out about it. <laughs> Do you use the copy and paste and cut feature? No, I haven't been able to get that to work. Yeah, it works great. How's it? Thing would you work? Yeah, well, why, like why don't you, you expand on the Tuesday tip form? Okay, well, if you were to copy or pick, well, starting off with copy or cut from something anywhere's online, internet, if you're going on the Star Wars Galaxies forum, copy, like a little, uh, like if you're doing a quest and you didn't know how to really do it that well, uh, mm-hmm. copy that quest. Now, when you go into game, make sure that you go into your, um, your map, uh, what is the called? Map key selection? Your right. map keys and the UI or whatever, you can select like for a map. You can put any button you want to say what map is going to bring up. They have an option if you go under all. That's where I usually go. Uh, there's one for cut, copy, and paste. I always use the Control Alt uh, little uh, at one bar right? next to the P <laughs> on the keyboard. That's my copy. The one next to that is. Uh, paste and the, uh, the little hyphen or whatever below that is my cut. Now, when you, whenever you copy something from the internet, like a quest, I go back in game, type out backslash notepad or note. I guess you can do no as well. Is that right? Yep, that's what I use. Uh, put up your notepad, and you should be able to hit the control alt little bar key, and it will uh, paste uh, any information off of the internet. Now, if it doesn't work, go into your email. First, and uh, give yourself a little email instead of the notepad, but it works either way. Does that work backwards? Can you like paste stuff or copy stuff from the game, then paste it? In, uh... It works both ways. Yes. Sweet. Well, there you go. That was a Tuesday that, tip. And it works good for quests that you want to go online, you know, and search out, and then go back in game and just give yourself a little email or use the notepad to put them on there. Nice. That was a hell of a Tuesday tip. Yeah. It was like useful. <laughs> Beyond the other ones, I do this what stuff the all the time because I can't go back and forth. Uh, you know, you know, because it's too much. I want to do it all in one swing. One of Gyron's was uh, Mustafar sucks. Don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Gyron. I actually talked to him earlier. I, I think I think he's like a week or two away from actually being part of the show. Nice. Where did my coke go? F and G. I gotta think about new names still. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got a question. Sweet. Does Freak know about the leveling tip I told you about around the forums about killing mobs around Dant Rebel Base with a 75 meter range rifle? You know what? I don't know about that. Huh. Self explanatory, isn't it? I don't know. Do, do so, I think it's an exploit? Uh, what, with this, having a 75 millimeter rifle? Millimeter. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. No, it sounds like just mm-hmm. grinding. Yeah. You don't want to buy Mustafar. I don't know. Maybe maybe, there, maybe there's something where it's, they're getting caught on something. If they are getting caught on something, then I would think it was an exploit. But if, you know, if they're, the mobs are melee, no, it's, if you can kill them before they get to you, Oh, yeah, well, I I looted one before they changed the loot to you know, where you get too many eggs and milk. Uh, I was going to a certain PY where they dropped a lot of weapons, and I got actually a few good rifles that shot 75 meters, and they were like in the mid 900s and mid 200s for men damage, and I kept those. And I can't, I, I'm not looting those many anymore, so I'm glad I got them. What's laying a fine under my ass this week is commando. <laughs> I respected a commando on Monday. After the show, and I went freaking bounty hunter and found out all bounty hunters now are posers, so I went back to commando. And holy crap, the damage is so crappy right now. And we're not getting a revamp to like publish 30. <laughs> I'm so mad. Well, you were on the avatar with, with, um, me and Guyron, and he wasn't having any problems up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the avatar is solo. I know, but still, I mean, I, I, I would like, I could pluck off one person. He had like three or four people on him. He was blowing the hell out of him. Well, you do get good. I mean, more like 
PvP. Because the only in PvP, your commando weapons, since you only have one real special of your gun for rifles and all that, it depends so much on the AOE damage. And with the feathering in PvP, all they gotta do is stand three feet apart, and then you just can't hit them all because the AOE feathering makes it just so low damage. What do you want to do? Be able to hit everybody? No, I just wanted to have what it was before. It like did moderate damage to everybody, but now it's only doing like a hundred damage to people on the extremity of the crosshair, which isn't that big. You know how big it is. No, oh, that's Get over yourself. No. <laughs> Get over Freaking yourself. They had a Jedi running around. <laughs> gonna kill them all. I want to be able to hit everybody on the screen <laughs> at I once. I think that's God mode. For 5,000 damage. Wait till I get my E-Whip, then you'll be sorry. That's coming in with the GC. e would be nice. That, yeah, that would be nice in the, uh, the new uh, the war. Evap's rock. I mean, look how good that snowtrooper did in Empire. <laughs> uh, didn't he get taken out just really quick by the Falcon's uh, quick gun? Yeah, but no one get on the Falcon anyway. You know, get on board, kid. This place is going to blow. <laughs> no one get in there to fire it in the first place. That's everyone's favorite line. <laughs> oh, I heard so many times. I spent four days in that friggin' station. I don't know why I got bugged, because when I played that friggin' thing in Austin, it worked fine. First time I got in there, I had that problem. Logged out, logged back in. Got off. I was able to get on the Falcon and get out of there. <laughs> They've been I giving was... me preferential treatment since before, you know, they even really knew who we were. Well, I was there so long. I get level 9 shooting crates. Like, not crates like the things on Tatooine, just the crates, the boxes there, like, respawn. That's crazy. Hey, yeah. Fair, can I bring up a uh, random thought here? Yeah, sure, why not? I was talking to a few people. Okay, you know how they took away the combat skills for the traders and entertainers, right? And they, uh, all those the skills in combat kind of sucked. They didn't, they thought it was lame. They didn't know what to do with them. Well, I was talking to a few people and they thought, well, okay, and I know this has been a hanged subject, the CH, you know, bring back, bring it back, and it's not going to get brought back. But maybe an aspect of it will. How about give the entertainers and traders the ability and I know a lot of people have mixed uh, thoughts on that because they're going to be like, well, I want to bring out my creatures too, but give traders and entertainers, which have no combat skills, the ability to have creatures that do have skills and that can fight for them. I thought that was kind of interesting, kind of. That's a good idea. You know, because tra- uh, traders and entertainers really don't have combat skills, so who does? They're animals or pets that they can bring out. So like what, are you going to have give them GIMP skills or... Are they going to be I, the I same know. as the creature just, level 90? I don't know. I just thought it would be something to talk about, and I didn't know how far to go with them. So the actual trainers or traders and entertainers don't really at all have combat skills. You know, they could probably be one-shot killed or something, but their creatures, if they do it right, they can uh, possibly, I don't know, train, I don't know, uh, use their creatures to fight for them, and I thought that was pretty neat. I don't uh, really see creatures. Thought. I don't see, like, creatures fighting coming back. No, I want it back. Oh, my rank Neither do shoulder. I. Neither do I, but I thought that was at least something that traders and entertainers can do as a combat since having their own skills sucked. I like that more than anything I've heard so far. That'd be good. Just make it like an expertise tree, have them come in and... Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? Like, learn another freaking set of songs? I mean, <laughs> give them some indirect combat skills. A nice alternative to giving them a freaking level 90, which they don't want. I don't know why, but... I don't do a lot of entertaining. But anyways, I just thought that would be a little random topic. So, not to get hot under the seat for, but... That that would be a good way. You could make them aggroable again, then you could have their creatures protect them. Right, because they really don't have combat skills. You know? But the creatures, their creatures do, so... And make them completely worthless in the Galactic Civil War, but... <laughs> I don't know. Or a creature handler. Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to pipe in on this one. Oh, yeah. Here came the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you couldn't stay away when it came to traitors. Oh, of course. That I had to defend my... I had to defend ourselves, right? <laughs> I, I like it. I mean, I wouldn't mind the creatures as long as they were, like, around combat level 30 or something like they used to be. Right. Nothing overpowering, but something exactly. they could use. Exactly. And, you know... Maybe in the GWC, maybe they can have, like, the probots or some sort of robot that can control for a war. You know, maybe that would way they'd be more usable in the war. 
that would be even better than like the rancors and stuff. Cause yeah, because that gets out of hand, you know, and mm-hmm. everybody complains about creature handlers. But having their droids about, that makes sense because you see probots, you know, in the Empire, or yeah. or maybe rebels have their version or something, or have like the little um, secret droids. But um, Darth Darth Sidious, not Sidious, oh boy, Maul. Darth Maul had in the first in episode right. one. And that that would be their way of fighting part of the war, you know? Yeah. So I just thought those were kind of good ideas for traders and entertainers. Yeah, throw it out there, see what people think. We'll even make a poll. <laughs> Don't get mad, people. It's just a poll. <laughs> it's just a poll. <laughs> just relax. The last poll you put up, a lot of people seem to like the bounty system. Yeah. About 75% or 7313 Despite all the random bitching on the forums. <laughs> I, I found out our listeners are, are a little more uh, a little more mature than a lot of the people on the forums, even though a lot of them seem to come from the forums. So. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go far as saying we're more mature over here. Watch poop. Now, in a minute from now, the board's <laughs> going to go nuts. <laughs> no, no, no. We're keeping poop out of the show. Even though some people requested poop being in the show, we're... We're not bringing it to the show. <laughs> what was that thing last week? The Simontology or whatever? What? So the poop bag on the chest. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not we're not going there right now. <laughs> oh. it, it, it's a slow week. We got through our topics pretty quick. But uh, why don't we give something away for free? We'll give away another okay. shirt. <laughs> just because I don't want to talk about poop. <laughs> the chat just lit up again. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, here we go. Oh, great. A name I can't pronounce. Paul Irie. That, that sounds good. So, Paul Irie, uh, go ahead and email me at thegalaxyreport at yahoo.com. And person who won earlier, also email me at thegalaxyreport at yahoo.com. And uh, give me your information, what size you want. I have large, extra large, and, and extra, extra large. So, let me know what you want. Give me your address, and we'll get that stuff sent out to you. Awesome. All right. Do we have hey, anything fair. else? Does anybody yeah, yeah, t- have any topic? Otherwise, I'm going to wrap the show up. Oh, wait, well, I'll take a one. <laughs> if nobody else has any questions, but did you read the – I don't think we went over this, but the expertise says some about – did you read a little bit about how they're trying to differentiate? Wow, we uh, completely make a, skipped over that. We missed the com link. Yeah. I have the com link right here, and I, somehow I completely missed it. I got the notes it. right here. I have the notes right here, too. I have it printed out, and I have it on my show notes, but somehow I completely missed it. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. I have my little alarm clock that said expertise system, and it just rang. Awesome. Yeah, expertise system. Okay. Uh, basically, this is the way it's going to work. At level 10, you will get five expertise points that you can spend into uh, one of the two different boxes. Right now, they're going to have uh, there's going to be a path and one general. Um, eventually, they're going to add a third expertise area called Galactic Civil War, but uh, they're going to hold off on that. Give us general and the path. Uh, with that, with them doing it like that, they think they may be able to get four professions done at a time, which I like a lot better than the two at a time. Um, so level 10, you get five expertise points. Every other level after that, you get another expertise point. As you work your way up through a tree or an expertise tree, you will unlock new areas, you know, which will, you'll get new moves, new, um, what else? New commands, abilities, or schematics. Uh, I like the way it's sounding. Yes, I do too. And the fact that they might be able to bring out four professions worth of trees per publish would be nice. I, I will. Wait and see on that, but I, I would like to see four at a time. Well, just for them mentioning that, that's at least the green light rather than red. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> and I would have liked to see more, seeing more information like what skills were on this stuff, like you were saying earlier about the building schematics. It just seemed too vague. Well, I, I don't think they have them completely fleshed out yet, so that's why we're not really seeing anything. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, Jedi are going to get the dark path and light path. And so. I hope they make it so where Rebels can only go... Well, wouldn't that make sense if Rebels went light only? And if you were Imperial, dark? That would make sense to me. I mean, would it be kind of... I, I, this is just me, but wouldn't it be kind of dumb if you're a Rebel and you're, you know, a, a, the dark side? That doesn't make sense. But you I know, like it. You know what would be, be kind of cool, like, is if you were a light Jedi... And you wanted to go to the dark path, 
if you could start a series of quests, like you'd have to go through a series of quests to turn to the dark side, which would have you like turn maybe say like turn on other Jedi. <laughs> it's an idea. That'd be cool. They can have that one. I just give them I ideas. Want... Yeah, I want something. To... Go ahead. Oh yeah, I want them that uh, Dagobah to dump all the friggin' pre CU Jedi, and stick them all there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just want to add that in. I'm really sick of everybody talking about... I mean, I did the Jedi grind, and... Right. I let go. I went freaking commando. I'm bitter, but I don't spam the forms <laughs> over it. <laughs> I think every every time I see some freaking Jedi in a robe of a pike who's just starting out, I die a little inside. You just went commando literally, literally didn't you? Yeah, I love going commando. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway... Yeah, anyway. Slow news. Slow week in the news. So, yeah, so slow week in news, but expertise system, it looks, it looks interesting. Uh, of course we have to wait and see. You know, they're, they're trickling out some information to us. And, um, it'll be nice to see this thing completely thrown out there and hopefully the next month or two. Next month. That that would be nice if they did the, you know, when differentiating, uh, making yourself different with light and dark if uh, they opened up the Aurelian village and made it different where that's where you choose your light and dark and that's where the quests are. That would be cool if they if they had quest areas as a way to work up through the trees too. Well, and especially with Jedi, I know a lot of people, you know, because there's only supposed to be, well, there's only supposed to be Obi-Wan and Yoda at this point. But, you know, because it's a game, a lot of people want to be it. Uh, they want to be their own Jedi. They want to be the only one the way I was acting at Aurelian Village. I didn't want some trader spamming their, I got this at my uh, shop, come go get it. You know, I want to be the only one there. So I hope they make, if they ever do opening, open the Aurelian Village up back again, if if, if it could be instant, incident. So. That'd be a hell of a lot of instances. <laughs> well, if they're working on a new system to make that work, uh, that'd be the first place I'd like, it, like to see it at. That'd be cool. They should have thrown some really stupid content from, you know, you ever see Super Shadow? The website, supershadow.com, that dick mm-hmm. who thinks he's George Lucas' best friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's crap. great. Yeah, they should, for April Fool's, they should have put up there adding content in from there. That would have been a great <laughs> April Fool's joke. I would have loved that. Super Shadow is the new producer of friggin' LucasArts. No, man. Hey, Vidi, uh, real quick, Vidi, if you want to put some on ignore, just backslash add ignore. And, but it's easier if you go right into your uh, preferences and go to the the friends list, or uh, and you can have non friends list too. Who's being annoying? Uh, Vidi, V I D I. He wants to know how you put somebody on ignore. You just no. Uh, who does he want to ignore? Uh, probably you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I only put. Look at all the just like three pages of talk about poop right after I said it. Okay, we have uh, we have a question that came through, and we'll be taking a call, and then we're going to wrap up the show. Why is there low to no advertising for SWG at E3, and why do they show pictures of things fighting Vader, Emperor, not in the game? And uh, do we think that is false advertising? Well, there's not going to be much advertising for SWG at E3 because, I mean, it is an older game. Uh, there, you know, E3 is more for, like, what's new, like the big stuff coming out. So I, I can see them not, you know, just having a little booth showing some stuff. Um, the fighting Vader and Emperor, I think some of that stuff was taken from, like, player events. So I really don't think it's false advertising. And, I've been uh, on Vader once. It happens. You just have to have a player event. They make it look like it's part of the regular game, which is what gets people. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't call that false advertising. You know, the Rancor and Tat, you know, goes back to the creature handler days. Uh, Vader at the Droid Factory, you know, it's probably a player event. I don't know. I, I mean, they're not blatant. They're not saying there. It's like, how can we really screw people to get them to play the game and then, you know, make something look cool. It's not like last year's trailer with the playable species and stuff that are in the game. Friggin' every bounty hunter has Mandalorian armor, and they had uh that kit. You know, the species Kit Fitzo is from Star Wars. Yeah. 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 They had him in there, and they had a bunch of air crap. I don't know. <sighs> They should show the real galaxies of people just bitching and moaning all day. The galaxies forums. <laughs> this should be a game of itself. It's quite uh, fun. I do enjoy the forums. Well, it looks like our call is not going to call in, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the show because we're kind of we're kind of taking a long time. So, 
talking about nothing. There's grass match straws. Yeah, at this point we're we're out of ideas. And I think we covered everything. I, I'm going to look over again real quick. Yeah, we covered everything. Everything and a couple of random thoughts. Yeah. I got my notes. Let me check real quick. Anything else oh, you want to talk about? You have a blank page. You know that. No, I actually typed it up this morning. Did I bitch books ever next? Yes. What's yeah, that? I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, you did. I, okay. I still want them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, wrapping up the show at this point, uh, check out our website, thegalaxyreport.com. We have our forums up. You know, let's get some conversation going. Seems to be slow lately. I think I said that last week. Saying it again this week. Uh, we have our fan art contest. We're starting to, some entries are starting to trickle in. Uh, you can check it out. We have a thread up on our forums. Uh, some, some good stuff coming in right now. Uh, we want to see more. Remember, the winner, we're going to go through the end of May, May 31st, and uh, we're going to have everyone vote on the different uh, what is it, the, the, the different fan art pictures, and the winner will receive a 60-day SWG game card. So, go ahead, get those entries in. You can email those to contest at thegalaxyreport.com. Um, what else do we have? Donations. We're always taking donations. Uh, $2 a month if you like. It's a recurring subscription, or you could donate whatever you see fit. Um, with the donations, we try to do like little giveaways, like we have shirts and we have some hats. We're going to get into giving away hats. And, uh, we, you know, take some people, or actually we take the people who have donated, we put them in a, a randomizer and we draw a name, you know, name or two every week to give something away to. And we're going to expand that. We're going to try to come up with some cool ideas to, uh, maybe some contests and, you know, give things away, fun stuff. Um, what else am I missing, guys? Did uh, I get it all? Yeah, no. yeah, I got it all. I think you got it all. Uh, all right. um, next week, I'm going to have another surprise, uh, some s- sort of form of scavenger hunt, so uh, I'll mention that next week. Awesome. So I want to thank everybody.